Almost all of us are using social media, but do we really understand the implications of publishing in this new world of the web? There are implications for publishing our information at a general level of society. We're contributing to that mass of information out there that comes back at us all the time and which challenges us in working out truth from fiction in discriminating about information. If we're on a course at a university, we're preparing an assignment, how do we know what's true? How do we know what's not true? How do we know what is false news, misinformation, deliberately put out there to confuse things? How does that affect students as they try and sift this world of information that they are contributing to all the time when they're doing assignments? How does it affect teachers as they try and grade assignments? They try and work out, for example, how much of a project is a student's own original work. So clearly there are general implications from the society point of view, but there are personal implications as well. You can put an opinion out there on the web, which might have seemed to you at the time uh, a very significant opinion, something that had valency, something that you were prepared to stand by. But out there on the web it lives forever and it might come back and bite you. If you're a student, for example, uh, and you express a very strong view about something, and a few years later you're in the employment market, do you really want the person who's interviewing you for the job to have been on the web and seen uh, your view that you expressed so powerfully and passionately two or three years beforehand? Talking to students, we found a wide variety of views about social media and privacy. <clears throat> Roughly speaking, those views fell into three overlapping groups. On the one hand, some students were deeply concerned about privacy issues. They take every opportunity to lock down the privacy settings. They might use a virtual private network. They're very aware of these issues. They don't like their data being out there. A second group of students, we could say, were cautiously aware. They wanted to publish their material online. They want the convenience of online resources, um, but they're careful about what they publish. They take care. Um, they're conscious uh, of what's out there about them. A third group of students, possibly a smaller group, were very relaxed indeed about privacy. They took the view that we're in an online world, we needed to get used to it, um, and they really didn't lock down any privacy concerns at all or have any worries about their information being published out there on the line. But let's actually hear what they had to say themselves. With regards to privacy issues, I never actually had much regard for it. Um, I always used to think that fraud is never going to happen to me and I'm going to be protected no matter what. As I've developed my family um, and I've come to university, I've become a lot more aware of the fact that potential employers could see my weekend activities and I don't necessarily want that or um, certain viewpoints politically could be put across that other people may not agree with and so I, I try to rein that in and make sure that my privacy controls in terms of Facebook especially are a bit more locked down because obviously that's where the pictures of my children are. Twitter tends to be a little bit more flexible but I use that as like a networking tool as well so um, LinkedIn is very much very professional and that's that's only like my qualifications and things like that and my experiences around that are on there um, but yeah I know quite a few people that tend not to um, be as tight with their privacy settings as what they potentially should be. I don't really bother with privacy settings because I think that, I mean, whatever you post online, if people see it, then it's your problem. So, I mean, I don't really use them because I don't post anything that I wouldn't want anyone to see anyway. So, I kind of think that in my case they're useless because I don't post stuff that I would only want friends to see because I think that social media is so open that most of the stuff that people, most of the people that see it aren't really your close friends anyway.